You gotta put your past behind you. Look, kid. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. Well, that's not what I was told. And maybe you need a new lesson. Repeat after me. Hakuna Matata. What? Here are the materials you're going to need for this project. It means no worries! To make the pattern, we're going to trace a pair of shorts that fit. Here you see me add 3 inches to the bottom, but then I realized that I only needed it an inch and a half bigger. I am having to add extra to the bottom because I'm using girl shorts instead of boy shorts. We're going to use the front pattern to make our back pattern and we're going to draw the straight line on the back and on the bottom, but we're going to make changes to the front top and the crotch area. I'm extending the top point an inch. and then slant it down, meeting the other side. I'm extending the crotch point by two inches, and then I'm gonna taper it down to meet the bottom. Then I'm just sloping the top to meet the crotch. Using the front pattern piece as my guide, I'm going to use this to make my front waistband and I'm making it 3 inches wide. Remember that these are on the fold. To make the back waistband piece, I'm just adding an inch and a half to the length and keeping it the same width of three inches. For my material, I'm using a thrifted pair of men's dress pants and I'm cutting it open so that I can use the fabric. Making sure that my fabric is doubled over, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out my pieces. Make sure you put your waistband pieces on the fold. Take your front and back short piece, face them right sides touching, pin and sew down the seam. Repeat on the back piece as well. Repeat after me. Now you're going to take your waistband pieces face them right sides facing as well and sew like this. If you have any excess, go ahead and trim it off. I make sure to mark my back piece for my front so that I know which one is which. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and iron this seam up like this and iron the very very top down just a little bit. Fold it over and pin all the way across. And then sew it. Now I'm just measuring the top to see how long I'm going to cut my elastic. And I'm going to cut my elastic 3 inches shorter than what my waistband is. Now just put your elastic through the casing.
Once it's all the way through, go ahead and tack it down on both the sides. Now you're going to put your front face up and put your back face down. Match up your seam. Fold the front over the back and sew it down right here. If you don't want to do this, then just go ahead and do your waistband just like you did the back and sew it right sides touching. I didn't want to have any exposed seams on mine, so that's why I'm choosing to do it this way. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Putting it back right sides touching, we're going to go ahead and sew up the side seams. And now you're going to sew up the crotch. Repeat after me. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Now you're going to fold your front waistband back over to the back and go ahead and sew it down. Finish off the bottom of your leg holes and go ahead and hem them. I'm choosing to hem mine an inch. Now from the center of the shorts, we're going to measure two inches over on both sides and that's where we're going to put our buttons. Same thing for the inside. Now we need to make the straps for the suspenders and what you do is measure from the front of the shorts to the back around the child. Mine is 25 inches long and I'm making it 3 inches wide. Cut it in half to make two. Now just fold it over on itself, right sides touching and sew it down the seam. I'm just going to iron this down, making sure that the seam is in the back. And then I'm going to fold the edges in and we're going to top stitch all the way around these. Using the button that you're using for this project, you're going to go ahead and mark it out to see where you need to make your buttonholes. Feel free to make as many buttonholes as you would like to make it adjustable. Now I'm just going to place my button into my buttonhole maker and make the buttonholes. Now you just have to seam rip the buttonholes open. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.